I was initially planning on doing Origins Part 1 and Part 2 in the same video, but I don't know, I guess I got a little bit scared that I would end up rushing through them or something. Plus, you know, I'll be honest, extra content. <laughs> I feel like these episodes might finally start to give me the answers I need about Miraculous Ladybug, because over the course of me watching what I've watched of MLB, I'm like, everything is bizarre. It's... It's... it's Cat Noir. Hey, Hayden. Why did he push her off the... <sighs> what are these adventures they're going on and why? Either that or I won't have context for what they're talking about and I will get even more confused, but I hope that I will still get at least some information. Before we start, I am so excited to give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> Y'all, I feel like a proper YouTuber now. You've probably heard of Raid, but it's a free to play turn-based RPG with some really cool and intricate content, including some really engaging player versus player systems. The great thing about Raid is that they're constantly adding to the game. They're like creating and expanding content, whether that's terrifying new bosses and dungeons, really cool events, or new champion releases. There's over 700 to play. Now. They also like to make all of this accessible. For example, you can get the legendary champion Sun Wukong for free. He's super strong, fits any collection, and if you needed any other reason, he's a badass monkey. All you have to do is log into Raid for seven different days between now and October 23rd. And if you click my link in the description or scan this QR code, you can get a free starter pack, which comes with a bunch of cool in-game loot. There's a lot to the game, to be honest, especially when it comes to end-game content like the Doom Tower. As far as the lore goes, it's essentially a giant super tower prison. As you climb to the top, you'll need an army of champions. And as you go, the bosses and the fights vary, so you'll need to actually think about strategy. For instance, there's even a boss called the Scar Arab King, who like barely takes damage unless you reduce his maximum HP first. And if you attack him without a shield buff, he'll wreck your entire party real fast. The thing is, it actually makes you think, and I find that so engaging. So again, make sure to use my link in the description or scan the QR code, and I will see you on the battlefield. All right. I won't delay any further, it's time. I do just feel like I need to make a mentality shift though, coming into this. Many centuries ago, magic jewels bestowing extraordinary powers I've, were created. I've already forgotten the name of the little, that's the little, little pink one, right? Uh, how have I forgotten the name? Whatever, man, but her, her Kwame speaking, I think. Two of these miraculous are more powerful than the others. The earrings of the ladybug, which provide the power of creation, and the ring of the black cat. I didn't know they were like more powerful ones. Whoever controls both these jewels at the same time will achieve absolute power. I oh, want that okay. absolute power, Nuru. That's why. That's why Hawk Moth wants it. I know that he wants to bring back his dead wife. No, not dead. She's like comatose or something, right? And I guess if he has both of them, he'd be able to accomplish it. He's, he's almost like... Thanos. I must have those miraculous. But nobody knows where these miraculous are. How, how do you... you though, my little Nuru? Oh, 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 I'm stupid. I was about to be like, how does no one know there's literally two superheroes walking around using the exact powers of those miraculouses? And then I realized this is in the past. The moth brooch allows you to give someone their own superpowers and to make that person your devoted follower. Oh my god, that's OP. What could be better than creating supervillains? <laughs> Imagine like being a Kwame and finding out you're with a supervillain and you're like, oh god, no. The miraculous are not meant to be used for evil purposes. I must have this absolute power. Your miraculous is in my control. Wow. Okay, I forget that he's just like kind of unhinged and terrifying, but also like if they're not meant to be used for villainous purposes, like why not have some sort of fail safe? Although I guess, I don't know if they were created or they just... Oh. I am your master now. Oh my god, dude. You must obey me. This poor little thing, I'm so sad for it. Nuru. Dark wings. Rise. Dark wings. Oh, oh, that's the code for him. From this day on, I shall be known as Hawk Mom. <laughs> Why Hawk? Where's the Hawk come from? Oh, what's the master, What's the green? Master. He has a miraculous too. Master chanting. It's all part of the treatment. Master, master, thank you for coming. <laughs> See you again. I remember seeing this dude in the movie uh, at 
<laughs> and they called him in the Oblivio episode. But I'm pretty sure this is the first time I've seen him in the show. I didn't know he had his own Miraculous. It's just starting to seem like everyone is a superhero. Or supervillain. Master, the moth Miraculous. I felt its is it aura. turtle? I thought it had been lost forever. Lost? I thought he kept them. If it has gotten into the wrong hands, there's no telling what evil will come upon the world. Time to transform! Oh, show me your transformation. Please, Master, be reasonable. You are still young. I'm only 186. 186, bro. What the hell? Was that just a joke or is he legitimately ancient? Like, do the Miraculouses grant eternal life also from what i remember he's the keeper of the miraculouses right does that mean that he finds the people to give them to or something like does he have the ladybug and cat noir ones and then he finds the others whoa okay damn that's cool i was at the box with the miraculouses Marinette, your alarm's been going off for 15 minutes <laughs> you're going to be late for your first day back at school that's just me never waking up to my alarms the start of a new year. What the I'm hell sure is that? What is she? Is she fine. making chocolate milk cereal or something? <laughs> That's so silly. <laughs> Why is their relationship so cute? That's adorable. Uh, la, la. Dad, these are so awesome. <laughs> Glad you Ma like them. Yeah, I know that she loves macarons. You're the best. We're the best. Thanks to your amazing mm. designs. D design? She designed the macros? Or did she design the logo or something? Yeah. Hey, that was a pedestrian- wait. I was like, it's a pedestrian crossing, but there's a stoplight. That's very clearly a pedestrian crossing. And it's also green now. How quick does that turn? No warning. Look at that, it just- Red. It's literally like, oh, you're fine, don't worry, it's fine to cross you. You're now you'll die! <laughs> oh no. Oh, she helps him. That's cute. So that's why he decides to give it to her. And it's green again! What the hell is this traffic light? You're no stranger to disaster. Oh my god, they stepped on the macarons? Oh. Bro just takes one. Okay. Oh, you saved my life. It sucks that your macarons got squished though. But you know what? I'm gonna take one. Now you have less squished, digested. F*** you. <laughs> I get it. It's a cute introduction. She doesn't mind. But hey, if someone just like saved me from danger, I wouldn't be like, and now without asking, I'm gonna take your food. <laughs> Thank you very much, young lady. Bro, that might just sound so creepy saying that. Like, I know he's not evil, and I'm guessing he said thank you because it's like, oh, thanks, you made my job of choosing who to give the miraculous to real easy because you seem nice and want to help people, so here you go, now you're gonna be Ladybug. But I really think there are very few creepier ways to say, thank you very much, young lady. <laughs> <laughs> Icky. Marinette du Penche. Uh, <laughs> She's such a bitch. That's my seat. Chloe, this has always been my seat. Not anyone. How it... New school, new year, new seats. So why don't New you school? Going... If it's a new school, how are the seats the same? Listen, Adrian's arriving today, and since that's going to be his seat, this ah, is going to be my seat. She wants to swoos in to Adrian. Uh, go on, move. Hey, who elected you queen of seats? Ooh, look, Sabrina. We've got a little... Bro, I would die if in this frame. She just goes, bah! Just comes in with the surprise right hook. Come on. Oh no, the, how many more are gonna get squished? Has everyone found a seat? Chillax girl, no biggie. Hey, I just realized as well, the teacher was just watching this whole thing unfold and was like, no, nah, they'll figure it out. I don't really give a f anyway. <laughs> Looks like they're about to get into a full on brawl in the middle of the classroom. Man, I don't, I don't give a sh <laughs> She says all that is necessary for the triumph of evil is that good people do nothing. Well, that girl over there is evil, and we are <laughs> good people. We can't let her get away with it. Look, I don't like Chloe. I think she's just really mean and awful. Um, evil though? <laughs> well, that's easier said than done. She likes to make my life miserable. That's because you let her, girl. You just need more confidence. Sounds victim blaming to me. You just need more confidence, or someone just needs to smack her so hard that the glasses go flying across the car. <laughs> what the f*** am I talking about, man? <laughs> For those of you who don't yet know me, I'm Miss Bustier. And I don't care about any of you guys. Ugh, he should have been here by now. Adrian, please reconsider. You know what your father wants. What? Reconsider what? This is what I want to do. Oh. Oh, is he just testing them? He doesn't actually need help. Thank you, young man. 
Are they really disappointed that he went and helped the dude? Please don't tell my father about all this. Oh, that... But I thought he does go to the school. Yeah, okay, he didn't need the walking stick at all. The rest of you can head over to the library. Kim! Ivan, what is going on? It's Kim! Kim. So gonna get... Ivan, go to the principal's office. <laughs> Who the hell are these guys? I don't recognize them at all. Negative emotion. I tell you, I was really confused for a second because it was like, go to the principal's office and this is the next thing we see. I'm like, Hawkmoth isn't the principal and uh, this, if this was the principal's office, is terrifying. Can you imagine if in school the teacher was like, go to the principal's office and you get there and it's just one beam of light coming in through this giant window and there's just a dude standing there menacingly while like a hundred moths fly around him. You'd be like, um, sir, are you... Are you good? <laughs> Just what I need. Anger. Oh, he's Madness. gonna send... Right. No. Gonna try to corrupt that guy that was about to punch that guy. Fly away, my little Akuma, and evilize him. How did he detect it? How did he know that that dude was feeling that? Was he just like, like, feeling the negative vibe somehow? Excuse me, young man. Hasn't anyone ever taught you to knock? To Come on, out you go. Let's try it again. Bro, I... Listen, asshole, you're a principal of school. You're pretty much meant to have an open door policy, especially because people are gonna get sent to you. I, I get that maybe you want people to knock, but also like, is that really what you'd expect? <laughs> you're gonna have like dozens of students and staff coming to see you every day. Are you gonna lecture all of them? Stoneheart, I Such a quick Hulk transformation. I give you the power to seek revenge on those who have wronged you. What's his power okay, gonna be? Knock knock. <laughs> Whoa, he's just a big rock guy. Knock knock. I'm a rock. How did they hear already? There are what? They have security cameras just on display. What's going on? He had Ivan's voice. It's as if he's been transformed into a real life supervillain. Is this a regular thing for them? Oh, I guess it becomes a regular thing for them because of Hawkmoth. Hey, where are you going? Where there's a super villain, there's always a superhero close behind. No <laughs> I was about to ask why she was so excited, but she just wants to see a superhero. <laughs> Damn, man. At least he didn't smash the car onto the people. How does he, like, give them the miraculouses? You are not going to school. I've already told you. Damn, man. But father- Everything you need is right here where I can keep an eye on you. I will not have you outside in that dangerous world. It's Dan not dangerous. Oh. I was thinking like, why would he think it's so dangerous? But I'm guessing because of, you know, his wife and all that. Why can't I go out and make friends just like everybody else? Because you are not like everyone else. You are my son. Continue. Is the implication that he's better than everyone else? Or is like, you're not like everyone else. I can control you and I will control you. Yeah, that's terrifying. Ready? Are these people just gonna die? What? Guns? Was that a taser? What, what did they shoot? It looked like a laser beam. As incredible as it seems, it's been confirmed that Paris is indeed being attacked by a supervillain. <laughs> the police have been struggling to keep the situation under control. Be confident, the strong arm of the Everyone seems so casual about this. I hate first days back at school. I hate first days back at school. Oh, is this... A regular f oh, th first days at school is so weird. You remember when your school got attacked by a giant rock monster picking up cars and throwing it while destroying everything in his path and attacking the police? Cause I do. Ah, oh, them first days back are always a ride. <gasps> What's this so doing, doing here? The boxes are there. Did the guy just break into their houses and plant these boxes? Ah, help! <laughs> it's a giant bug. A, a mouse. A, a bug mouse. A mouse. It, 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 <laughs> how nice the Kwame was and she's just like, God, ah, throw everything! I don't know how I'd react. I would probably be a little bit distrustful, but I would try to talk to it, you know? <laughs> no way. Like the genie in the lake. Oh, that'd be like my reaction. No, don't touch that. Hey, come back here. Oh, so shiny. Can you eat this? I love how chill Adrian is with this. Okay. Damn, that was smart and quick. I'm a Kwame and my name is Kiki. Now just let me explain. Plague is just trying to eat literally everything, man. Wait till he finds cheese. My grand powers. Yours is the power of destruction. Got it? Uh-uh. 
My dad's pranking me, right? Wait, he couldn't be. He has no sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how often we get this side of Adrian. I feel like I don't see it enough, but love him just roasting his dad. She just smashed right out of it. You're the only one who can stop Stoneheart. Do you think they'll be up to it, Master? I only got it wrong once. It will never happen again. At least I hope not. Who, who did he give it to that he got it wrong with? Not Hawkmoth, I'm guessing. Maybe. Maybe he maybe he gave Hawkmoth one? All you would know, that's my friend. Well, at least I think she would. She loves superheroes. She'd totally be up for the job. You should go see her. <laughs> she does end up getting a miraculous, right? Okay, so all I have to do is break the object of where the whatchamacallit is hiding? It's called an Akuma, which you must then capture. Got it. Capture it. And what's that charm thing again? The lucky charm. Lucky it's your secret charm. superpower. <sighs> this is all going too fast, Tiki. I I won't be able to pull yeah, you, I mean, uh, it's really easy to be like, oh, isn't she just so anxious? And oh, go, go out there and be a superhero girl. It's easy. You know, you, you got the power. But also, you know, she's essentially just been conscripted to go and fight this like giant, terrifying rock man. I think I would have some hesitation too. Trust yourself, Marinette. <laughs> just say spots on. <laughs> spots on? Tiki is so supportive. Whoa, what is happening? Oh, is this the first transformation? She's like, where did that music come from? Claws out. That's how you transform. Got it. Flag? Claws out! Oh, wait, I haven't finished explaining. <laughs> Adrian's just so eager. Okay, well, you know. It's good to know that he was fruity with it from the very start. Oh. <laughs> Fabulous, Adrian. <laughs> oh, how does this thing come off? Tiki, if you can hear me, I Is want to Back. Is it clothing or like did it change her? If that got ripped, would it just be like ripping her skin off? Stoneheart is heading towards the Montparnasse Tower. The monster <laughs> He's seems walking so run. casually <laughs> and she's just backing behind him. Yeah, mom. Just super. Ha, 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 ha. She's just super. Get it? Because she's a superhero. We better call the school. Okay, I have special powers. And apparently this amazing super yo-yo thingy. <laughs> yeah, be like, my weapon is a yo-yo. What the hell? God damn long is that string? Holy shit. I'm starting to get the hang of this. Uh. <laughs> I mean, would have been tragic if they just slammed right into the pavement. I'm, mm, Cat Noir. Yeah, <laughs> Cat Noir. Did he just make that up or is that, did he get told that that was the name? <laughs> Madly clumsy. I am so clumsy. No sweat, clumsy girl. I'm learning the ropes too. Right, his stick. I forgot about his big stick thing. That looks cooler than a yo-yo, though. Trust yourself. Trust yourself. <laughs> that is an insane mode of travel. It's like Spider-Man, but like somehow more terrifying. Who's the worst now? Oh, he's just going to fight this guy. <laughs> Kim, I think his name was. Is is the Rock guy's plan to like? murder him you know i know that he's out to take revenge but from what i remember this dude like wrote a note about ivan or whatever and now he's like yep you deserve death i know that he's like corrupted by the akuma but is that really the stake here this man's life <laughs> hey it's not very nice to pick on people who are smaller than you i guess you're talking about yourself Man, he just like dove in head first, like, I'm a superhero now, time to fight this thing, how am I gonna do it? Who knows, who cares, I'll figure it out. Here they come to save the day, and now my supervillain will destroy them. You think one supervillain is gonna beat both of those guys? No, oh, I can't, I'm not gonna be able to do it. I mean, very valid to be scared, man. Oh no. Damn, it okay, he just like adopted this so quickly and so well. What are you waiting for, Super Red Bug? The world is watching you! Super Red Bug? Is that what you called her? Huh. Huh? Throw the yo yo! Animal cruelty, tripping? Oh. Shameful. Ha! Animal cr It took me a second to work out what she said. Animal cruelty. Because he's a. Uh, He's a cat. He gets bigger and stronger with every attack. We have to do something different. Where's the Akuma though? I don't know. Okay then, let's use our powers. <laughs> He's just like, okay. <laughs> How did he know? He wasn't told about Cataclysm. It's just you and me now. Time to rubble, soon to be rubble. <laughs> He's just so willing and ready. It's so weird. <laughs> Uh-oh. 
I guess I only get one shot to use my power. <laughs> then you only have five minutes before you transform back. Didn't your quantum explain anything to you? I guess I was a little excited about my new life. It would be so easy for me to roast Adrian here and be like, man is careless, you know? Be smarter, learn things, and then put your life in danger. But man... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would be the kind of person to skip the tutorial and be like, let's get down to superheroing. Lucky charm! What does it actually do? What is that? The Akuma is hiding. Well, he's made entirely out of stone. His right hand. It's so closed. He never opens it. So there's something in the hand? Ha! How does she factor into it? Throw her at the hose and... <laughs> Whoa! Trust me! Don't resist! What the hell is going on? I was like just joking about a silly outlandish thing she could do because I was like, how is it, how's the other girl gonna factor into this? Maybe she's gonna throw... No, she threw Adrian! <laughs> and then filled the suit with water and... Oh right, isn't the, her lucky charm thing that like she gets an object that'll help her but she doesn't know how or something like that? And she just was like, yeah, well, well time to fill this with water. <laughs> oh, he dropped it. Oh, because he needed to catch both of them. What's that gonna do? Oh, to inflate her up. Oh, that's so weird. You gotta capture it. You gotta capture it. She forgot to capture it. What was it? Oh, crumbled a bit of paper. You were incredible, Miss uh Bug Lady. Yeah, don't answer his questions, you know. Man's just been through something. You should get going. Our identities must remain secret. Farewell, milady. Let's do this again soon, okay? Good to know he had that cringe aspect to his personality right at the start. You haven't even got the guts to tell me Len you love her. Kim wrote it. He's always making fun of me. Oh. There's no shame in telling someone you love them, Ivan. Hey, how do you know my name, miss? Uh, uncanny. <laughs> Amazing. Spectacular. Wait, didn't it just say it on the note, though? Unless it didn't. Amazing. Spectacular. Are you gonna Was that filmed? Now on, how did you get your power? <laughs> She's like a reporter. <laughs> oh, I've got a ton of questions to ask you, uh, Miss, uh, Ladybug. Call me Ladybug. Lady Miraculous Buck. Ladybug. Super awesome. So thanks to this amateur footage, the Parisians now know the identities of their heroes. I did it, Tiki. Okay. Good thing that she didn't publish the footage of her just referring to that guy by Ivan, because then it would mean that everyone would know that clearly she knows who the dude is and therefore probably goes to their school or something. Also, am I missing something? Or do they get to decide their names? Because she was just like, call me Ladybug. But like right at the start, didn't they say the Miraculouses were called Ladybug and Cat Noir? Unless she knows that, but like, I guess everyone else wouldn't. So she could have told them her name was anything. But she decided to stay on theme. <laughs> Ladybug and Cat Noir. Ladybug. Her name's Ladybug. Ew, -wee, what is this? What is it? Seriously, my personal chef made all this. If you expect me to What get the my hell actually is that though? I need to eat something more delicate. Jeez. Yeah, so they didn't capture it. It's just where's it going to go? Whoa. I did not expect them to just turn into like a bajillion of them and try to take over the whole city. It's Paris conquering time. Just as Paris is about to celebrate the appearance of our two new superheroes, Ladybug and Cat Noir. So like everyone's oh they're turning into the rock thing too. The people are mysteriously transformed into stone monsters. It's simply unbelievable. I remembered that she had to catch the Akuma. She didn't. Camembert cheese. Fantastic. <laughs> All he eats is camembert, which means I'm going to smell like stinky old <laughs> Camembert does slap though. Police are perplexed. What will happen to them? Will they come to life or be frozen in time? Oh, oh, they didn't I, Oh, I thought that they were turning into ones that were going to like move and attack, but they're just frozen. Did you capture, capture the, Akuma? the Akuma? What's capturing <laughs> the Akuma got to do with the other stone beings? An Akuma can multiply. That's why it must be captured. If Ivan's emotions become negative again, then the Akuma will turn him back into Stoneheart. He'll control the stone beings and bring them- Oh god, he's gonna control all of them? This is all my fault? I knew it. See, Tiki? Can they go and find the Akuma now? Keep calm. It was your first time. You're going to go back and capture Stoneheart's Akuma and do it successfully. I can't. I told you I'm clumsy. I create disaster all the time. They'll only make things worse for me, for you, for everyone. Cat Noir will be better off without me. Damn, man. Uh, like, uh, I guess it's a lot to put on her shoulders, but like, you, 
you have one failure, you know, it's fine. And from what Tiki said, if you go and find the Akuma, it'll be fine. I hope. Only Ladybug can capture Akumas and repair oh. damage caused by super villains. They can't? If Cat Noir can't capture the Akumas, then just find another Ladybug. I told you, I'm not cut out to be Ladybug. Ugh. I'm sorry, Tiki. Damn, man. No, don't take... Tiki? Wait, why did that get rid of Tiki? Tiki was there before she put the earrings on in the first place. She put them on while talking to Tiki, so why did taking them off just delete Tiki from existence at the moment? She's just putting them in a drawer? She knows that someone needs to wear them and wield the powers in order to stop Paris from like being destroyed by an army of giant stone golems. And she's like, oh, this weapon that's very necessary to save the world. Oh, I'll just stash that in a drawer for now. Ah, we'll get it later. So someone will deal with it. Ivan has a sensitive heart. It won't be long before anger and sadness strike again. God damn. And he and the stone beings will come alive. That's so, like, evil, though. Ladybug and Cat Noir, once I have your miraculous, you will be powerless against me. <laughs> Everyone will be powerless against me. I will have absolute power. So he literally does just want to take over the world. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, <sighs> I knew, I knew that that was where that was going to end. Well, that's what I get for deciding to separate these two. I get a cliffhanger. You know, I don't know why I would have expected anything less. Yeah, you know, it's a two-parter, of course. It's going to end in the middle of the story, and I'm going to need to watch another one to find out what happens. Does that mean I'm not angry about it? <laughs> I want to know now. I will say that learning more about the lore is very intriguing. The whole universe and the way it's set up, I don't know, I just find it interesting, even if the show can be really weird and strange at times. I also just love episodes that let us see characters from a different angle. We know Marinette and Adrian as these two capable superheroes, and now... We're getting to see them before they were that. They're sort of like learning and finding their footing. And of course, getting their confidence. It's an opportunity for us to see how far they've come as characters. And I like that. So now all I can say is that I'm excited to watch the second part. Hope you're excited to see me do it too. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you being here and I'll see you next time.